What's going on guys, it's Raided here and welcome back to my channel and in today's video guys I'm actually going to be showing you my favourite Razorback class setup to use within Black Ops 3 multiplayer Now hopefully you guys do enjoy this video and as always if you do then definitely leave a like down below And also make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on a future upload I have an extremely cool video planned for Friday It's actually going to be the ways that I've been leveling up extremely fast within multiplayer So hopefully you guys do come back to check that out But guys with that said, let's begin with the video so as you guys are going to be seeing here in a second, it's going to be my Razorback class setup. Now I know the gameplay in the background isn't the best, but I thought I'd bring you guys a video today and hopefully I will have another video on my channel later on today as well. But if you guys missed out on my previous videos, they will be in the top right hand corner of the screen. But on screen right now, you are going to be seeing the class setup that I am running for my Razorback. If you guys want to, you can go ahead and pause the video and copy down the exact attachments and perks I do run on this class setup. But as you can see, I run the Razorback and on the Razorback I run uh, three attachments one of them which is stock one of them which is rapid fire and one of them which is extended mags I actually have a video planned uh, explaining to you guys why rapid fire has to be one of the most OP uh, attachments within Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer now I'm going to be giving you guys a brief rundown on the rapid fire attachment rapid fire increases the rate of fire within Black Ops 3 multiplayer whereas in other Call of Duty games such as Black Ops 2 to, you know uh, mw2 and games like that basically the rapid fire attachment added a ton of recoil on your weapon now whereas in this game all it does is increase the rate of fire and i'm not sure if they will go ahead and fix this but as of now there's no recoil added to the gun like pretty much minimal recoil added to the gun once you do add the rapid fire attachment so that's why i do run rapid fire on nearly every single one of my smg classes except from the vespa as that rate of fire is absolutely insane as it already is and pretty much it drains the clip instantly now many of you guys have been enjoying these class setups uh, but what i also do run on this class is like i did say stock rapid fire and extended mags and i run extended mags purely because i'm running rapid fire i'm going to be running out of ammo twice as fast as the usual rate but if you are in a one-on-one -on -one gunfight with rapid fire and the other person doesn't have rapid fire you're most likely going to be able to kill them uh, pretty much even if they go ahead and shoot you first which is absolutely insane it's going to save you guys in a ton of gunfights you guys know me, I don't usually run a secondary, but if I did, it would definitely have to be a launcher or, you know, uh, I would swap it out for a lethal or a tactical. But as a perk one, I run two perk ones. Right now, I run flag jacket and also overclock and I run overclock just because I like to earn my specialist uh, abilities a little bit faster than usual if I am playing nuketown domination uh, you know I really want to get uh, the vision pulse uh, you know the tempest and stuff like that so I really do recommend you guys going ahead and running overclock on your class as well and as perk 2 I run anti up uh, purely because I don't actually have scavenger unlocked right now so I thought I'd put anti up on my class setup instead just so I can go ahead and get my kill streaks a little bit faster and uh, going ahead and moving on to perk 3 I always run tactical mask you guys can switch it out for gung ho a dead silence awareness literally any perk 3 you can switch it out for but I personally like to run tactical mask as it reduces the effect of flashbangs concussion and shock charges which is great within black ops 3 multiplayer as a specialist I do go ahead and run vision pulse on this class setup as always you can switch it out if you want to you can actually switch it out for combat focus so you can even earn your kill streaks a little bit faster than usual uh, but that's pretty much wrapping up the class setup for today's video i will have another video on my channel later in today if you want to check that out but that's pretty much it guys hope you have a great day and until next time i am out peace